hello. Now that the Batman is out and had a huge weekend, do you think word of mouth will help it reach a billion dollars at the box office? I loved it, and so did my friends, but some are calling it too slow. Wanted to hear your thoughts. Ah, the billion dollar question. Everybody needs a, every movie has to make a billion dollars now for it to be a hit. I, I don't know how much this one's going to make, guys. I love this movie. You guys know I love this movie. I've talked about this movie to death. I've only seen it the one time. I'm going to see it again at, at some point. I do love it. That being said, yesterday on Manic Monday with Andrew Fantasia, I said that this movie will be overrated. A lot of people are going to see this movie as being overrated. It's gotten so much praise. Uh, Rotten Tomatoes is like 85%. The audience score is like 90%. Like it's, it's so well praised that when you go in to see this movie, that this movie is not a typical superhero action movie, that mm. a lot of people are mm. going to leave it and being like, no, that wasn't as good as they said. And then when you, when somebody overhypes something, you like you like it even less. And I think that's going to be a, a case with this movie. Is it is a three hour slow burn? I know a lot of people think a lot of stuff could be edited out. I'm going to say this: I don't like long movies. We all know that. But I love the Book of Boba Fett, which I have been on record as saying as well. And that show is also a slow burn, and it does what it wants to do in the amount of time it does it. It doesn't cater to anybody. It's like this is what I'm doing. And I, as I get older, because I am an old man, I kind of, I think I appreciate that style of storytelling more. Not not necessarily it has to be long, but I'm okay. Like if you show me, if you give, if you present me a TV show or a film that I, I, that is made, that is quality made and there has been time, effort and care put into it and you can see all that, I think I'm on board a lot more, but I'm definitely, I'm old. I'm not the, I'm not the majority on a lot of things. I like, I like the Snyder movies before it was hip to like the Snyder movies, and I got roasted online about that. You can go back years ago. Too. This is just, like it's just this is just me, but I do think the three hour time and that the fact that it's not like Avatar, where it's a quick three hours, this is a slow burn three hours. I think that's going to hinder it. And on top of that, Scotty, it's going to your HBO Max in a month, for, like just over a month from now, that's going to take away from it at the box office because why would I go see a movie for three hours? in a theater when I can stay home and watch it on TV. That's a good point. But I heard that this movie in IMAX is ridiculous. Yes. And uh, I think that's going to help it because IMAX does cost a little bit more, but man, like this movie delivers and you're talking about a book of <laughs> Boba Fett. Like a lot of fans are coming off of feeling like the book of Boba Fett did the opposite of deliver. So once the word of mouth on this starts to spread, I feel like people are going to go expecting to see the Batman and it, they're going to get exactly that. Like the movie doesn't try to be something that it's not. Uh, and if you're a fan of anything, Batman year one, the long Halloween, like all the stuff's in there, man. Um, but yeah, and I'm not, I mean, I'm not trying to take anything away from Boba Fett. But as far as like, how dare we're, you? We're talking about the difference of a show and a movie too. I know I'm being very like oh, yeah, yeah, whatever, yeah. but um, <laughs> the overall vibe because I'm online talking mainly about yeah. Star Wars is that you know people have been clamoring for something that's very connected to a character, and Batman is a fan favorite. I think the word of mouth is very positive, and that the fan that the delivers on what the whole movie is too. So I don't think there's a lot of disappointment. I get the length, but. Yeah. All right, Steve, if, hit us. Global box office. Did you see what the global box office numbers are for the weekend? Uh, it was, it two, last I saw it was two four. It was two forty eight, but I think it went higher than that. So yeah. let's say between two forty eight and two sixty or something. Let's just say so that. that's a quarter of your way to your. I don't have. Oh, I have my phone. I'll... No, I looked it up. It's two forty eight point five million. Could be could be higher, but anyways, <laughs> the, point, the point I'm trying to make is. <laughs> Yeah. You're already a quarter of the way there to a billion dollars. I, I don't see any way that this doesn't make a billion yeah. dollars. How do they, how anyway. do they, um, when it goes to HBO Max, how do they attribute money towards the film for that? How do they uh, decide, you know, what, what financial, you know, what, what does it get out of being on HBO Max is what I'm trying to say. I believe they, they look at the, the views that it gets in the subscriber, kind of like our YouTube channel. Subscribe! If they look at that <laughs> subscriber count and the and the amount of views that it got. So I think last year it was Mortal Kombat was one, 
King Kong and Godzilla was two, and Suicide Squad was three, I believe. That's how it worked. Mm -hmm. um, but, but as those far movies, as like the movies... box office, it doesn't contribute. No, it doesn't. So at it would all. just be so... like the cutoff is when it comes out of theaters. Or if then it does something like what Endgame does and goes re release in theaters with the, you know, how they will bring movies back into theaters, that does count, I believe. I'd hate to see the towards extent. more. <laughs> yeah. The six hour version where they're like, we, we just put in a whole lot of more Joker. Um, like the Joker is the main character. The Joker is the main character in the new cut. And it's literally Matt Reeves just had a green screen in his garage and shot Joker scenes for this movie. Jason if you put Momoa, that one scene in it, if you put that one scene in it, that'll make money. Jason Momoa said he would sit through a four hour Dune movie. <laughs> that probably exists. <laughs> I haven't seen Dune. I haven't seen Dune yet. Have you guys seen Dune? I'm going to watch good. it in March, it. March, 8, March 18th. It hits Crave, Steve, uh, here oh, nice. in Canada. So that's our streaming service here. We get our own personal streams. Mm -hmm. That's our, that's our uh, B grade HBO Max. <laughs> that's yeah. what, that's yeah. what that is. I think that's a movie. <laughs> Like some old movies are hard to watch for like younger crowds, but I think the old Dune is is watchable if you're gonna go right into the new one afterwards. And it's no, very, I've never seen I've never seen the old one. one so do, do I need to see the old one to see the new one? No, but like I say, in the old one is like it holds up over time. I think because it's mm -hmm. a very like fantasy type of a story. Interesting. But, whereas I've like, never seen it, but I actually have the making of it yeah whereas like you know some uh old 80s movies come off as campy i guess yeah the dune movie yeah. the old one's not campy in my opinion no they definitely so you guys both think that the batman's gonna make a billion dollars at the box office like no question <laughs> no question <laughs> i'm curious to see how I'm it does I think this, this... to make sure it happens <laughs> i think this weekend's gonna be a, a big tell for it. I hope it does because uh, it was a Tommy Emmerich, the mm -hmm. head of Warner Brothers, said that they're going to focus their DC slate on having more director driven films come out. And I'm super stoked about that because I love the Suicide Squad. I love Joker. I love the Batman. Mm -hmm. And those are the big three. Those are like, and the Peacemaker, the show. I think Peacemaker show in his comments really had a lot to do with it as well because they get like those movies in that show are very filmmaker driven. Everything about those was filmmaker driven. Studio notes, I'm sure, were there, but it's like, here's the filmmaker, here's their vision, what do you got? And mm. those three, three and a half, including the TV show, I think they succeeded on every level. Like, and whether you like them or not is one thing, but I think each of those films is very, very solid, and they are exactly the movie that they set out to make. All those movies, I think, are perfect in what they are. That's what I like. I mean, if you don't like it, you don't like it, and whatever, we can get into that. But for what they are and what the director brought to them is exactly what they wanted. And I think they delivered. Yeah, I yeah. <laughs> $567 million for the Batman. Could you imagine this is, oh, man. no, I'm joking. Could you imagine? Like, I do worry though, that, that there's a modern audience that goes into these theaters. And I'm not just saying young people, there's older people too, that go into these movies and they want the flash and it's not about the slow burn. There's not an appreciation for that. And I know when I went into this, I know they, they were comparing it a lot to Seven and Zodiac and Chinatown. And I and you know, and I, I always brought up uh, Spider-Man Homecoming. They always compared it to John Hughes. And I never and I watching it, I was like, this is not a John Hughes movie. Like I never felt mm -hmm. it was a good movie, but it was not a John Hughes movie. And they kept saying it, and people were like, it's like a John Hughes movie. I'm like, it's not like a John Hughes movie. The sequel was more like a John Hughes movie than the first one. But this movie actually felt like the movies that they said it was going to feel like. So, and those movies are all great. And I thought this one was as well. But I think if you're going into this expecting something different, I don't know. I'm really, this weekend is going to be such a huge weekend for this movie. I hope it makes a billion dollars because, well, obviously a sequel, which I think is going to happen anyway. But also, I want more director driven films. Mar Marvel has perfected their serial storytelling for. The general audiences let dc do something different we don't need it all to be the exact like if dc movies just turn into marvel movies it's going to get boring fast so let them do this for a little while hopefully joker made a billion dollars hopefully they make more money and then when that settles down then you know you can do your roger revis stuff i don't know 